Well, I did you not, for the last four or five days, we've had beautiful weather. Now we've got this. It's going to be like this all day, like 12 degrees maximum. Uh, that's this is today. Everything's difficult. Help me help Okay, boys and girls, this is what I've done. Actually, boys and girls, nah, it's mainly guys that just watch this channel. I checked out the analytics and it basically is 98 point, or 99.1 percent of guys that watch this, and there was a smidgen of girls that watch it, but I got a, got a feeling they might have clicked on a video by complete accident. Anyway, um, the, I just want to show you this, the, actual, the Pioneer Surround Amp that I did install up here, uh, if you go back a few videos ago, I built the box and all this sort of thing and uh, put the amp in, I actually decided to uh, rip it out and I put it in the second man cave, which we'll get over and have a look at, but instead what I did is I put in this amplifier here, which is a Pioneer amplifier, and it's just a stereo, so realistically I don't need a surround system out here. Um, just a stereo. It is a quadraphonic sound system, uh, so that means four speakers, but I still have to use a switcher box in case uh, if you saw the other video. Um, one side runs the speakers out here, and if I hit B or A, it runs the speakers in the carport. Uh, now, this thing doesn't have a sub out, so how I combated that, I don't recommend to do this because it's completely, I'm pretty sure, pretty wrong, but it works. Um, in here, what I did was I got an RCA lead and I snipped it off, stripped one end, and I what did I do? Um, I went RCA, uh, RCA out of this amp. Did I? What did I do? Yes, no, I'm trying to remember what I did. I went RCA out of this amp and the other end, which had stripped wires. Yeah, I got the RCA lead, snipped the end, stripped the wires, and what I did is because this has A and B, I'm only using say A, you know, for all the speakers that go into the switcher box up here. Uh, so I went say B left channel out with the RCA plug out of this amplifier, stripped the wires, and I went into this. No, what I've done is to be able to use this as a sub because this thing does not have a sub out, uh, obviously, because it's just a stereo, it's not a surround system at all, um, is I have gone... Yeah, I, I have actually uh, stripped the wires and gone, say, B, uh, instead of A running all the speakers, I've gone B out of this amplifier with the stripped wires out of this amp and gone into, say, auxiliary in on this Samsung um, amplifier so that way it'll send the signal but it'll give the information of as if you were running a speaker not a signal anyway so I ran it into this I went sub out to the sub that's up there and the bloody thing works so to recap what did I do I went I stripped the wires I went out of speaker B with an RCA lead and I went into auxiliary now and then out of um, then sub out obviously to the sub speaker I wouldn't advise anyone to actually do this, it's not its not really a recommended way of doing this. I had no other way of doing it, but I thought, ah, oh, something goes wrong or whatever, it goes wrong. But it didn't. It actually worked, surprisingly. Um, actually, it works really, really well. Alright, let's get over to where I completely lost my mind, and I mentally challenged, and what I went and did. Okay, it does seem weird that I kind of done this, but uh, we're all in bloody quarantine, lockdown, all that sort of thing, so there's only so much, you know, there's only so much gardening I can freaking do, so just keep doing crazy stupid things. I mean, seriously, you've seen the size of this bloody shed. I can't believe I put a surround system in here, but ah, what else was I going to use that amp for and use it properly? 
Let's have a look at what I did. I did come across a problem, but I did fix it. Okay, well let's have a little bit of a look, <clears throat> a little bit of a look at what I've actually done out here. Yeah, I've noticed that uh, in my videos, I look back, this, I actually put this shed up around about a year ago, just over a year ago now. Um, and I've done so many changes in here within a year. Uh, must be boredom, I don't, I don't know. But I, I think I'm happy with the way things are now. Uh, I can't foresee any reason to alter things, change things. Well, not when it comes to this side of it anyway. As far as I'm concerned, look, I think I'm, I'm right. This is what I did. I can't remember what I showed you last, what was set up in here. Um, I think the last video I did, I showed how I used this little LG micro system to run into that um, huge ass sub bid down there that's actually meant for a bass player. Anyway, uh, what amp did I have there? I'm not even sure what I had there. Anyway, whatever was there is gone. Oh, that's right, I think it was the, uh, the white van special. Um, amplifier that's actually now being used for the jukebox and just watching TV in the main man cave this is of course the second man cave now what I decided to do was I took that out because it says it's a surround system it certainly isn't it's just a stereo this is a surround system but it's old school surround system so there's no HDMI lead in that um, it's back in the days of when you will use optical or a coaxial lead so I've got a coaxial lead in there and it's still, it is 5.1, so before HDMI, uh, you get amps that had coaxial, and you would still get 5.1 sound, so you still get your fronts, your centers, your left and right surround, so that's what I did. So, I put this in here, I found that I had, in the other shed, uh, an old center channel, just a Sony center channel, so I decided to, rather than collecting dust, I'll put that to use, got the JBLs here on the side, which are far too big for in here, but hey, it's all good. The sub down here, which runs perfectly now because there's a sub out of this Pioneer amp. So the sub out goes into here and it punches the hell out of this friggin' shed here. And on the sides, just some small Samsung speakers. I'll spin you around, well, let's have a look. Okay, now that's on the side of me. I'm assuming you can see it. So they're just very small. I actually had these in the carport. Um, when I was working on the car, I had I ran the stereo, and I used these in the carport. I've actually got some uh, different speakers out there now that are bigger than these, but I found a use for these, and here they are. I'm using them as surround speakers out here. Okay, so now out here in this small, small uh, secondary man cave, I now have um, 5.1 surround. You might think this is a little bit nutty. I'm going to get things fired up and show you because I did come across a problem. Uh, and I thought it had to do with the amp, and I don't think it did, I don't know what the problem was. I did fix it, I'll show you, because it didn't make a lot of sense. But anyway, uh, while we're waiting for that, um, yeah, look, I, I do, I love being out here. It's very small, not very big at all. Um, I had my uncle here, and when he's seen these videos, and then he actually saw the shed, he goes, oh God, it looks bigger on the videos. And I think maybe it does. It's not as big as it appears on these videos. I mean, what have we got? One, two, three, four, five steps and I'm out the door. But I got my little chair there. I got my cup holder, which I've shown in the other videos, and I'm quite happy to be out here. Just to sit here and watch. Okay then, all right, we've got, uh, got the computer on. There's a picture of a shed. Well, it's not really a shed. The picture on the, the screen there is actually the, um, the cabin from Evil Dead. And so. That just makes me think about here, sort of like the cabin of Evil Dead. Not that I'm going to be possessed in any way. All right, so we'll get the amp on. And I'll open up uh, Cody. I tend to use, I pretty much use Cody on all the computers and everything. Uh, I'll get this amp on. So that one's for the sub. And I'll whack a movie on. Okay, I will show you this. I'm not sure uh, if you can actually see this, but I went to play something and it was just in stereo. Now, I forgot, in Kodi, you have to allow pass-through. Now, it says here, allow here pass-through devices, so you get Dolby Digital and DDS uh, to run to your amplifier. So I wonder why it wasn't working right, but now it is. All right, so now it's all set for proper surround and all that sort of thing. Just hit a movie, which is the new Star Wars or whatever. Next thing you know, it'll kick in. All the surrounds will kick in. 
and all that. So it, it, it's a bit crazy out here in the little uh, the little man cave, but oh well, I like it. Whenever you're ready to start, there we go. So that's that there. We're all good. Everything's running. But I will tell you one problem that I did have. When I first set this up, it made no sense. I had more volume coming out of, I think it was the uh, the left channel, than the right. Now, to, the only way to level that up, in the amp I had to have, say, the left channel at minus 10 when you adjust your level, minus 10, and the right side plus 10. Now, to me, that didn't make any sense at all. I didn't know what was causing that or whatever, and I didn't want to run it like that. So I found something in the computer that I could actually level it out. It's not as it actually didn't fix the problem, but it helped where I could have the levels within the amp at the correct level they're supposed to be. But I don't know why one was higher than the other, but I'll show you what I did. And I didn't even know computers did this. So you learn something new every day. Okay, so what I'll do here is uh, I'll go into the sound settings. Now, I've got to remember how I did this. So, uh, here we go. So, I think uh, I went into the sound control panel, went in here. Okay, so I'm in, <clears throat> I went into this uh, section, which is Realtek uh, Digital Output. And I think I went into um, Levels and Balance here. Now, I don't know, I'll zoom in so you can have a look, but I've got... Uh, well, there's one and two. One's at 50% and one's at 11%. All right, so as you can see, uh, so let's say number one would be, say, the right, and number two would be the left. I oh, know, either way, I can't remember. But that was the only way I could level up my front speakers without making them plus 10 and minus 10. Now, this, I've never, saw, I've never seen this in a computer before. Obviously, all computers have it. Um, this is the first time I've ever had to use it. I've never needed to use this for anything else. It's the first time I've never had to use it. But either way, it fixed uh, fixed my problem. Maybe I'm doing it the right way, maybe the wrong way. But either way, this way for me worked. So yeah, either way, that was um, that was the issue I had out here. I, I don't know why um, that had to happen, but it did. And it took me ages to figure out how to make this thing uh, work. I don't know if anyone out there has ever come across this if you use computers to run your movies and all that sort of thing like I do. But that's uh, in the other computers, like the other man cave, the lounge room, the bedroom and all that. They'll run fine, no issue. And then maybe it's an older computer, that could be why I had a bit of an issue, I don't know. But either way, this is, uh, yeah, just a quick video I thought I'd slap together. Now, I was supposed to do a different video with something that I ordered turns out what I ordered it was on a pre-sale and I wasn't aware of this it's not going to get here it's supposed to be dispatched the 25th of this month so I'm going to wait about another three weeks for it to get here then possibly another week for it to be delivered all it is is a new projector to go into the man cave so I'm upgrading that projector I have mentioned this before um, I'm really really spewing because I thought this weekend I was going to have it then I looked more into where I purchased it from. I'm like, you bitch. This is gonna, I'm not getting it this weekend. I'll, I'll get it at the end of the month. So anyway, that's the video I was supposed to do. Anyway, out here in uh, the secondary man cave, I went nuts through, through boredom and put in a surround system in here. Uh, I don't know. I've said this before. If you have the gear, why not use it? Play with it. So I'm talking about the gear. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Alright guys, um, yeah, I'll catch you on the next one, whatever that may be. It won't be the projector one. I'll think of something else to do until that uh, new projector gets here. But, alright, now, uh, yeah, if you're from Australia, um, try to keep warm because it is bloody cold today. Um, let's find out at the moment. I'm going to use the dreaded G word. Hey Google, what's the current temperature? The current temperature in Milton is 10 degrees. 10 degrees. I might bleep out where it said where I was from. <laughs> but anyway, it's only 10 degrees. I don't know. Hey, Google. Hey, Google. What's 10 degrees in Fahrenheit? 
10 degrees Celsius is 50 degrees Fahrenheit. <laughs> 50. Sounds bloody hot to me. Like, if we actually had 50 degrees, I wouldn't be staying here in a jacket. Anyway, so for maybe in America, that's what it is. It's 50, and for us, it's 10. Uh, yeah. So anyway, I uh, keep warm. All you Aussies and all you anywhere else, I don't know, stay cool. <laughs> Alright, I'll catch you on the next video. Bye, guys.